Halo, selamat datang. Mari belajar bahasa Indonesia. Bagian ke-18. Today we will learn about kalimat perintah, imperative sentences. Good news for English speakers, the grammar is exactly the same as it is in English. Just start the sentence with verb 1, or as Indonesians call it, verb. Contohnya, silakan ikuti saya. Please kindly repeat after me whenever I say something in Indonesian language. Jawab. Jawab. Of course, the exclamation mark isn't the nicest punctuation. Therefore, let's soften it a bit. Tolong jawab. Tolong jawab. This sentence is grammatically correct. Duduk. Duduk. But this sentence is better. Silakan duduk. Silakan duduk. The two magic words in Indonesian language are Tolong Which means please help And Silakan Which means please kindly Contohnya Tolong Tolong angkat meja ini Tolong angkat meja ini. The word tolong must always be at the beginning of the sentence. When you forget, you can still add it at the end, but it shows that you initially forgot to say it. Therefore, it is always better to say it at the beginning of the sentence. Mari berlatih. Tolong buka pintu. Tolong buka pintu. Tolong geser lemari ini. Tolong geser lemari ini. Tolong cuci piring. Tolong cuci piring. Tolong sapu rumah. Tolong sapu rumah. Tolong sapu lantai. Tolong sapu lantai. Tolong pel lantai. Tolong pel lantai. Tolong setrika pakaian. Tolong setrika pakaian. Tolong cuci mobil saya. Tolong cuci mobil saya. Now, examples for silakan. Silakan masuk. Silakan masuk. Silakan jalan. Silakan jalan. Silakan duduk. Silakan duduk. Silakan minum. Silakan minum. Silakan buka. Silakan buka. Silakan pakai. Silakan pakai. Silakan coba. 
Silakan coba. Silakan coba. Silakan cicip. Silakan cicip. Silakan datang. Silakan datang. Silakan beristirahat. Silakan beristirahat. Now we will learn about suffix kan. Suffix kan means please make the object do. Please make the object become. When we use verb plus suffix kan and object, it means please do this to the object. For example, please burn the papers. It means please do burning toward the papers. It can also mean please make the object do this. For example, please run the machine. Please make the machine do the running. When suffix kan is used with adjective, it means please make the object becomes. For example, please sharpen my pencil. Please make my pencil become sharp. Notice suffix kan transforms adjectives into verbs. The word buka can be a verb which means to open and also an adjective which means open. For example, tolong buka pintu. You please help open the door. The word open or buka here is a verb. Another example, tolong bukakan pintu. Please help make the door becomes open. Open in the second sentence is an adjective. In the sentence, tolong buka pintu and tolong bukakan pintu, whichever the sentence you use, the end result is the same. And that means just relax. You can use either way as long as your interlocutor understands what you are trying to tell them. Mari berlatih menggunakan akhiran kan. Adjective kan. Make the object become. Jelaskan. Jelaskan. Siapkan bukumu. Siapkan bukumu. Tenangkan dirimu. Tenangkan dirimu. Hijaukan kota kita. Hijaukan kota kita. Tolong matikan lampu. Tolong matikan lampu. Tolong bersihkan meja ini. Tolong bersihkan meja ini. Now, verb kan plus object, which means please do this to the object. Or, please make the object do this. Tolong geser lemari ini. Or, tolong geserkan lemari ini. Tolong cuci piring. Or, tolong cucikan piring. Tolong sapu rumah. Or, Tolong sapukan rumah. 
tolong sapu lantai. Or, tolong sapukan lantai. Tolong pel lantai. Or, tolong pelkan lantai. Tolong setrika pakaian. Or, tolong setrikakan pakaian. Hapuskan file ini. Hapuskan file ini. Tolong cucikan beras. Tolong cucikan beras. Now we will learn about how to invite people to do something. Use the word silakan, mari, or ayo at the beginning of the sentence. Silakan, mari, ayo. Silakan is polite. Mari is formal. Ayo, usually you can use it toward your friends. It is not impolite, just slightly less formal. Contohnya, silakan masuk. Silakan duduk. Silakan buka. Silakan pakai. Mari masuk. Mari makan. Ayo berangkat. Ayo istirahat. Ayo naik. So, once again, all that you need to do is use silakan, mari, or ayo at the beginning of the sentence. Now we will learn about giving prohibitions. Larangan. Just use the word jangan at the beginning of the sentence. Contohnya, Jangan lupa. Jangan lupa. Jangan datang telat. Jangan datang telat. Or, jangan telat. Jangan berisik. Jangan berisik. Jangan pernah menyerah. Jangan pernah menyerah. Jangan salah. Jangan salah. Jangan tergesa-gesa. Jangan tergesa-gesa. Jangan tergesa-gesa. Jangan takut. Jangan takut. Jangan bersedih. Jangan bersedih. Or, jangan sedih. Jangan sedih. Jangan menangis. Jangan menangis. Okay. I just want to give you a note that I'm just using the words as examples. So don't protest me about not about prohibiting people to cry and to be sad. 
Jangan bohong. Jangan bohong. Jangan marah. Jangan marah. Jangan sombong. Jangan sombong. Jangan pergi. Jangan pergi. Jangan buang sampah sembarangan. Jangan buang sampah sembarangan. Mari simpulkan. In this video, we have learned about how to give order. Basically, you use verb. To ask for a favor or to soften your order, you use the word tolong at the beginning of the sentence. You can use tolong plus verb or tolong plus verb with suffix kan or tolong plus adjective with suffix kan. To allow people to do something, you say silakan. While for invitation, you use silakan, mari, and ayo. For prohibition, you, you use jangan. You can use it with verb or with adjective. Mudah bukan? Please subscribe to support this channel and to get updates on new videos. Sampai jumpa di bagian selanjutnya. Salam!